So first round, lozenge, no one's been there before, and you're in second place with Aaron on the podium. Was that, did you feel like you were ready and were you expecting big results coming into 18 or was that, did that come as a bit of a surprise? Um, it was, it was a surprise. Um, like 2017 was actually quite a frustrating year for me. Like I felt like I had a lot more speed than I'd ever had. Like I had really good splits and a couple of really good qualities, but, um, just like some crashes and like little things that kind of held me back that I didn't get the results that I sort of felt like I could. And, um, yeah, then going into 2018, it was just another year on, on that bike. And I just felt, I don't know, relaxed and confident and having fun really. Um, and yeah, that, that first race just was, just felt easy, like had a solid quality and then a good race run. And yeah, I was second and almost won the damn thing. So I was like, definitely surprised. Um, but yeah, it was just, it just felt easy, honestly. Like I, I wasn't, didn't have any pressure on me and I was just having fun. And, uh, yeah, it, it, that year was just hard to explain. It just, everything felt easy. You know, everything was just clicking and I was having fun and there was no stress, no pressure. And, and yeah, I was kind of just rolling <laughs> and that yeah, was, yeah, pool, that was a crazy season. The pool rolled into Fort William where you qualified first. I think that was the first time qualifying first in elite. What was it like being yeah. at the top of that mountain on your own last man down for the first time? How are you feeling? Like, honestly, like it was, I felt like it was just another day, another race. Like it, it was so weird. Like I, the quality was just a smooth run. Didn't expect anything from it. And yeah, I was first and I was like, oh, cool. This is sweet. And I had like the number two play already. I, I was like, oh man, like I could really take the overall lead if I have a good race. Um, and, uh, yeah, like it's so weird. Like I, I remember being at the top of the hill and not thinking anything of it like it was it was so relaxed and I, I just felt so ready for that moment and um that on un unfortunately like that race I really feel like and of course it's you know easy to say but I really felt like that was my race to win um I was like already way up at the first split and everything was just easy I wasn't riding over my head or anything and then just got a flat that was that like first flat in like a year like you know i wasn't having any problems with flats and that was just like that was a tough tough pill to swallow just because i felt like i would have just cruised down the hill and won that race like it didn't feel like i was fighting anything like my time and qualities was actually faster than the race day time um so that was like really really hard pill to swallow and i was gutted obviously but I knew that I was riding well and I tried to take the positives from it and um, didn't really feel like, honestly, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. It was just a weird thing. Like, yeah, a million rocks on that track and I must have just hit hit the wrong rock at the wrong angle and that was that, just cut the tire open. So, um, and then, yeah, that was that. But then straight into Leo Gang the next weekend, um, completely different track, different conditions, everything. And I remember not really feeling that good in practice and not having a great quality run. And I qualified first again. And it was just like, yeah, everything that year just seemed so easy. I, that's, it wasn't like, I didn't expect it. And everything was just like rolling for me. So, um, and then obviously, <laughs> I think at that point, I started to put some pressure on myself. Um, obviously, like, I knew that opportunity slipped away the previous weekend and I knew I was riding good and I was really, really just fired up to go for it. And yeah, was on a really, really sick run and right there with the leaders, like a little bit up on the, on the last split and just the weirdest little crash. Like, I don't know if I lost focus or what, but just crashed in a random spot on the track that I wouldn't ever expect to make a mistake there and threw it away. So at that point I was, like pretty gutted because I was like I knew I was riding so well and honestly it was like so close I felt like to winning two races in a row and and that was like yeah I didn't really have much to show for it so um but yeah so how it went so what do you what do you do with that then you've been in that position where you feel like you're riding so well 
that it's easy to put yourself at the top of the timesheets in qualies, but it's not converting on a race day. I guess it's easy to question the process, to look at what you change. Like, how did you go away and deal with that? Did you have any support or any help? Um, I mean, of course, like everyone around me was like, you know, supporting me and being like, you know, you're doing the right thing. Like your time will come. Like everyone, that was almost the worst bit was everyone was just like, oh, like your time will come. Like it's going to be, you know, you've got it. Like you've, you've already almost done it. Like just be patient. It's coming. And like, I almost feel like that's not the right attitude to have. Cause like you can't like, I don't know. I just felt like I was trying to force it then at that point. And I remember so many people saying like, oh, we're just like waiting for it now. Like it, the next one is yours. Like you're, you know, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And um, you almost start, start to like, I don't know, think about the result more than the, the performance or the process. And, and you're, I was just, I remember thinking about like, oh, like next time is going to be the one where I win. Like I'm, riding good I'm just gonna like make it happen and I was thinking about the win and I was thinking about the result and like that's not that's not what got me to that point like I'd, I'd never thought about that before so I think that I struggled with that mentally like for sure like that the rest of that season um I was riding super well but I think I was just trying to skip a step you know I was just thinking about trying to win a race and and it's like that's not the point like that's not the process you know um so yeah, that was tough. Um, it, it definitely learned a lot about myself, though. Like it was, it was a, it was a good lesson for sure. Yeah, and the, the lesson didn't finish after Leergang, did it? It gave you another opportunity in Valnord, where you took first place qualies, yeah, and then had had a crash on the way down. I think you were already a fair margin away from Vergier, who seemed to be on a bit of a tear that weekend. But was that just another blow yeah. for you psychologically? That- that one was like honestly i i i felt that one coming because like it was again um i sort of surprised myself in qualifying like didn't expect anything from it which is exactly how i think i should approach every race is no expectations and and i rode really well and qualified first by by a pretty decent margin um and then like i just remember that after that i was just like okay like tomorrow's the day like I was just ready like in my head I was like it's gonna happen like I'm gonna win this race and and I just remember like in that like as soon as I left the start gate in the final like I just I was not in the right head like I was way too tight way too nervous like thinking way too much just not riding well at all and and I knew like straight away like okay like this is not this is not the day. And so like that one was tough because I felt like I really let the pressure get to me on that one. And then I crashed anyways. It was just like, it was terrible. Um, I totally let the pressure and put too much pressure on myself and, and I just didn't perform at all. So that was a tough one. But again, like a really important lesson for me, like, um, I was just way too focused on the result, like way too focused on the, the outcome and not on the process, you know? And, um, so yeah, that was, a yeah, that was a good learning year. I'll say, um, definitely, uh, still, still stings. Like it'll always sting. Like I, those, those races I was, you know, riding so well and those opportunities don't come around very often. So, um, but, but I definitely feel like I'm better from it. Yeah, given everything you know now, if you think if you could return to the top of one or all of those races, do you think the outcome would be different? And if so, why? Like, what would you do differently? Yeah, I think it would, honestly. Like, I think, like I said, just um, basically just putting it out of your head that like, you know, oh, like I can win this or oh, like this is my opportunity or this is my time. Like, it shouldn't feel like that. You know, I think I think like it kind of just every every great ride i've ever had kind of feels like it comes as a surprise and i think that's because i'm i'm not putting any expectation on myself it's it's just me riding free and riding with like you know no expectations and just i think that's when you perform your best is when you're relaxed and you're just in the moment you know like really just being in the moment and not thinking about like 
the outcome. So, um, but I mean, it's, it's obviously like hindsight's 2020 and, you know, you got to learn those lessons. Like I, it's hard. It's, I don't feel like having gone through it. Like, I don't think anyone could have told me that before. And I could have just listened to me like, Oh yeah, you're right. Like it's something that I really felt like I had to go through to learn. And, and I mean, I'm still learning. Like, it's not like I have it mastered. Like I feel like every year and every race I is a, a learning experience, you know? Um, but that's, what's funny is like, I think about like the level of racing in 2022 going into 2023, like the level now is so much higher than it was then. I think like everyone has stepped up huge and I know that like I'm riding now faster than I ever was, but everyone else is too. So <laughs> it's, it's never easy. <laughs>